Hi, I'm Mike from Three Brick Friends. Today I'm bringing you the third update of our Palace gig venue. As you can see from the opening picture, I have managed to get some LEDs working. I'm going to take you straight into that now, but later on in the video we're going to show you the new drum kit and amplifiers we've been designing and the bar. So here we go, let's have a look at these lights. As you can see on the drum riser, I've put in eight white LEDs. They're constant light LEDs, so by flicking them on and off, that's me doing that. I'll have a control for that, so I can do it when I wish. But at the moment it's loose, I've just soldered the wires together and I'm touching them against a transformer. I'll formalise that when I've got some more of the wires in. But as you can see, it's very effective. The LED lights are inside the 1x1 headlight bricks and I've put a trans-clear 1x1 round stud on top of it. No matter what colour I'm using, they're all going to be trans-clear. The light shows through very well. I've tested it with the blue and the red and they actually look awesome. But unfortunately you're not going to see that today. But anyway, let's get on with it. So as you've presumably noticed, there's a full drum kit now on the drum riser. There's two bass drums, there's a lot of cymbals, snare drum, hi-hat, microphone and two toms. I'm using the chrome silver for the cymbals, I think they really look great and especially when the stage is all lit up with the LEDs, it's going to look excellent. I will do a tutorial on how I've built the drum kit, so look out for that over the next few days. The other changes I've made is I've re-looked at their amplifiers for the guitars and changed the design on them. I'll probably do a tutorial on how to build them as well. But yeah, they've changed, they look slightly more advanced now. So if we move on to the bar, you can see it's a fully stocked bar. I've put mirrors in the back and rows and rows of bottles and cans. I've changed the bar out from the plain grey bar I had before, put some beer taps on the bar and there's a couple of tills and a computer screen. If you have a look at some of the details on the front of the bar, there's a little pole across the bottom to put your feet on while you wait to be served. And there's also a little rail as well to hold on to. And that's just a shot of all the variety of bottles and cans. I may put stickers on the cans, I'm not sure about that yet. So if we go back to the lights, the situation with the lights is I have started to wire in the LEDs into the overhead lighting rig. As you can see I've done four rows out of the 12. That's 16 LEDs put in already. It's fairly time consuming to do because I'm sticking them in with glue. So this is the pattern. Chloe and I sat down and we designed a pattern for the lighting colours. The hatched out red and blue ones are LEDs that change between red and blue. The ones with a line through them mean that they're flashing bulbs. The other ones are steady state. I will have control over all of them though, so we'll be able to turn on various lights at a time in batches, much like you would at a gig. Anyway, that's, that's a continuing thing. I'll keep working on that. So that's it for this update. I hope you enjoyed to see the LEDs working. If you did, please go ahead and subscribe to our channel. Check out some of the other videos we've got going on at the moment. And thanks very much. I'll hopefully have another update for you in a couple of weeks. In the meantime, we normally post pretty much every day. So keep an eye on our channel and see you next time. Bye.